But it just boils down to patience and uh, just remaining optimistic, you know. A lot of people, this is new to them. Uh, actually, to this degree, I have to admit it's new to me. The uh, water has been up before since I've lived out here years back, but this just accelerated uh, once I, I got past that, what I consider to be a personal safe point, and when I saw it accelerating, you know, and just back then, you at that point, you just hope and pray nothing gets worse. Like I said, uh, it could have been worse. Uh, nobody's house floated. Um, as far as I'm concerned right now, and I've talked to many people, there was no structural damage to their homes. It was more the insulation got wet, the ductwork got wet. Um, I know we have vehicle damage out here now. We've been staying with my mother and my second father on their, in their home, on the couches and the chairs and inflatable mattresses. They've been really helpful and I know there's a few others out here that had the same blessings and resources. Um, I've been informed from other tenants that didn't have the resources that the uh, park owner has some vacant mobile homes and units on higher ground and he was just placing them there. I know of some that have went to the motels. Uh, there are units out here that were safe enough uh, per inspection through the county and Ameren's uh, judgment call as well to restore powers to those homes. Today, the unofficial update I've been informed that Ameren has every intention on restoring power to those that do not have it out here. But I also know it's not reality until it actually happens.